This is the get down five inches per second. It's a sinking line that sinks at five inches per second. All fly lines have a thick bit and a thin bit. And if the density of the coating was the same on both, the thick bit would sink faster than the thin bit. Makes sense, right? A sinking line that isn't density compensated, you cast the fly to the fish, it sinks in an arc, and by the time it gets to the feeding zone, you've only got this much of the fishing left. A density compensated line, you cast to the fish, it sinks level, and then you've got all this distance of fishing left. You simply fish for longer and catch more fish. That's what density compensation means. Not that complicated, is it? Casting a sunk line can be difficult. In some cases, it can be dangerous. The tapers on these sunk lines are designed to be easy to cast. They're very manageable head lengths. They dig out of the water nice and easily, but they land on the water gently. It's very important. People think that sunk line fishing, you just whack it out, let it sink and strip it in. If you scare the fish in the top layers, you're gonna scare the fish in the bottom layers. Having the right taper means that the line doesn't have to be heavy and unwieldy. This overhang marker now, it's on the floor in front of me, and all I've got to do is make one false cast, let it slip into the top ring, and then release the whole lot. No drama, no boat partners ducking, no die sevens wrapped around your head. And also that line lands very, very straight. It almost casts like a, a floating line, but it sinks level, like I say. If you want a roly-poly or slow figure of eight, the running line's maximized so that you can do that. The diameter of the line's really important. If the line's too thick, when you come to dig it out of the water, the tip of the rod buckles over. You really need a strong rod to cast it, and that is unpleasant. It's not the sunk line that's unpleasant, it's the rods that you need to cast them. That's what's tiring. If you've got the right taper and the right diameter fly line, you can dig out even a fast sinking line really easily, and then with the overhang marker, there it is right at the rod tip. It's like fishing with a dry fly line. The overhang marker gives you that visual aid to repeat, 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 taking the brain power out of it. You can simply concentrate on fishing, finding the fish, changing the flies. All my sinking lines are thinner than comparable lines, so they simply cut through the air. But more importantly, as they're sinking through the water, they cut through the water as well. And when you're picking them up, they also cut through on the way back up. So it takes less effort to cast them, less effort for them to sink through the water column, and less effort to dig them out. It's pretty simple physics. Let's say you're competition fishing, fishing for eight hours with fast sinking lines, using a lighter rod, using less effort to cast, and less effort to dig those sinking lines out of the water. Turns it from a cage fight to a chess game. If you're tired, irritable, pulling back dice sevens with strong rods all the time, the line lands poorly, you make poor casts. The retrieve that you pull the line back is too fast. It's all too hurried and rushed. All the best competition fishermen and pleasure fishermen I've ever seen using a sunk line are relaxed. It's like it's a dry fly day to them. The fish pick up on that. Everything's better. The casts are better, the presentations are better. Your brain is thinking about the fly, not about your body being sore. That catches more fish. It's as simple as that. I've seen it time and time again. The best competition fishermen I've ever seen are relaxed. Their catch rates go sky high. Sunkline fishing doesn't have to be hard work. It can be really, really pleasurable. Get down series of sink lines, make it so. The SSI, the get down flow into the two inches per second, three inches per second, all the way to five inches per second. Sunkline fishing does not have to be hard work. It can be a joy.